here I am Hamza Ramzan with my YouTube channel Mechatronics. Today I am going to talk to you about something on dot matrix display. This type of display are everywhere around us. Like this we see them on road signals, on our clocks, uh, digital clocks in masjid and they are also used in advertisements as well. Now let's explore how these types of displays work at once. First of all how does the LED work? It has two terminals, a positive one and a negative one. I give positive here and negative here and it glows up. So my point here is an LED needs two terminals to work with. One, two. And our dot matrix is nothing but simply a combination of these LEDs. So it is a 8 by 8 dot matrix. It has 64 LEDs. And how many pins it should have? yes it should have 128 pins to operate but the problem is 128 pins are a lot we have to have 128 sockets and then or 128 wires to operate this thing so what is the remedy so the remedy is join all the positive terminals of the leds in a row and all the negative terminals of LEDs in a column. So here we have eight rows and eight columns, and eight plus eight is only sixteen output lines. Lines instead of one twenty eight. And how these sixteen will glow the LEDs now? For example, if I give plus voltage to my first row and negative voltage next column, then my this LED will glow up and if I give positive to my row 2 then this LED also will glow up because positive here and ground so let's see this in more detail on Proteus as dot matrix works here are my columns and here are my rows if I give plus voltage to my columns and ground to my rows then all the rows will be blown up if I want only one dot to glow then I have to give all plus ones only this dot will appear and now if I this column then this column and row 1 will also be blown up and then row 2 column 1 and column 2 also shows up shows up if I want to enable this column and this row here I have to go to this row and open this column so this dot will be but you can see that there is a problem if I want to display an integer or alphabet A I can do it because if I enable this then the same in co columns are repeated and the columns are repeated if I I on this column then the same rows are close up so what is the problem the problem is that if I column 1 the current goes here all the columns and these are open these rows are open so all of them close up then also these rows are open then if I enable this column and all of these are zero so all these rows will be Glow. So, what is the remedy of this problem? The remedy is known as multiplexing. So, what we do in multiplexing? Let me show you that in a second. First, I enable only one column and give a combination of rows. This one. Then, I disable that column, change my rows combination, and enable the second column. And here, this thing is done. Then again, I disable the second column change my rows combination and enable the third column and this thing will show and I will repeat this procedure for all my columns and this will happen so quickly and 100 times per second that you don't know what is going on so let me tell you in my presentation here if I want to show this alphabet A here first what we'll do I will give 1 to row 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7 and enable this column. Then what I will do? I will disable this column, change the rows combination and enable my column 2. Let me tell you that in this way. I will enable my column R6, R21 and enable this column. Then what I will do? I will disable this column, change my rows 1, 2 and then again enable my next column and this pattern will appear. Like this, the in this way A is divided into 5 views and these views change in at a very speed that we see this A on the screen. So let's see this in Proteus. This thing. Now let's see what happens when I start this thing. You see a letter H is showing on the screen. But how this letter H is showing on the screen? Let me tell you that. For this animation and if I increase this delay to 1000 or 1 second and then what will happen is that and then again this thing you see only one column is on and the rows are changed now second column is on and the rows are again changed now third column is on and the rows are again changed now fourth column is on and the rows are changed so this thing happens so quickly that we see a letter H on the screen and if we if I reduce the delay here to 10 see what happens okay now that now here guys you see a letter H and I show you another thing if I pause this simulation you see only one dot here again if I Unpause it, see letter H, see, you see only one column is able at one time, able at time and all the columns are off and this on off is having in such a quick time that we see digits on the screen. This is same as our light bulbs in our home, the frequency of it is so high that we don't see the flickering in them. And this is for this tutorial and in my next tutorial I will show you how you can control this dot matrix display using Arduino. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Pause. Oh yeah then. Control A.